this Valentine's Day I will be okay so we'll be creating this filter um, we can actually design the graphics that actually follows your face movement and it will just flip at random uh, accordingly so this one this Valentine's Day I will be dating my crush I really hope so even though Valentine's Day is nowhere near but um, you can create something similar very interesting IG filter let's just play one more time broke AF Oof. well anyway let's get started okay so let's start off with um, adding the capabilities the face tracking capabilities let's head to project and edit properties under capabilities let's click on the plus icon and look for face tracking and insert that so once I've added my face tracking capabilities I'm going to under focal distance let's add a face tracker and on the face tracker let's add a plane we'll be adding two planes question graphic as well as the answer graphics so under plane he zero here I'm gonna rename this to question this is the question title and create a new material for this one material zero and let's change or rename this to question as well we'll be adding a few um, assets and plane so let's rename them accordingly so we won't get confused so under question material here under shader type let's change this to flat and under texture let's create let's import a new texture and actually have this graphic here that I've actually done on Adobe Photoshop this, this Valentine's Day I will be so um, when the user click or rather tap on the screen it will actually toggle different answers and it will actually stop at an answer and I have a PNG design file here that I'm going to import it in so as usual once we actually import a texture uh, let's change the compression to none do not want to compress the textures and let's go ahead and add one more plane this time let's rename this to answer similarly create a new material material zero rename this as well to answer and under shader type we change this to flat okay however for the answer because we're going to have several possible answers so instead of inserting a new texture i'm going to insert a new animation sequence And you can see on the assets panel, the animation sequence here. Uh, I'm going to import a new texture. And I have uh, various answers here. So this Valentine's Day, I will either be happy and single or I'll be broke AF. And I have seven different answers that I'm going to import. These are all PNG files. Now, if you actually um, find the designs interesting, if actually you want to use these designs, actually, you can actually head down to the description box below and download the graphics. They are available for you to download and use for your project. So I'm going to import all seven PNG files. It will be compiled into seven set of images under textures as, as you can see here bracket 1-7 so here under texture similarly i'm going to change the compression to none i'm going to start with my question first i'm going to click on i'm going to bring this up all right right to the forehead and i'm going to increase the size
Okay, like so. So um, we're just going to resize this and we can actually adjust it again once we actually test it out. So I'm done with the question here and uh, let me just set this to invisible first so that I can actually work on the answer panel. I'm going to bring this up as well. And resize this. about so roughly right so um these are animation sequence that i have i have seven sets so which means if i were to click on play so it will start to play all the seven sequences here and if i were to head over to my animation sequence this is based on 25 frames per second all right now you can change this accordingly um uh, if you want to bring it slower then you bring it down uh, but i'm going to leave it 25 frames per second and I'm going to make sure that it's ran set at randomize. It's going to be set at loop and it's going to be randomized. So which means um, at a certain particular second, it's going to stop at a particular answer. So I'm going to pause this and I'm going to bring back my question image. So now that I have all this done, let's start to work on our patch editor. And somehow along the way, you always have this error message at, uh, at the bottom. Just ignore this because I haven't had any patch editor yet. So I'm going to go and click on show patch editor. So here I'm going to add a few patches. So just um, follow through and I'm going to explain um, as much as I can. So let's double click on the patch and I'm going to look for runtime. Add that patch in. I have a runtime and click on the arrow and drag to the right. I'm going to look for offset. A patch here. Okay. And at the, at the end of the patch under offset, I'm going to click and drag out. And this time I'm going to look for equals. And under equal, let's drag to another patch called loop animation as I want it to loop. Probably need some space here. Uh, loop animation. So earlier here, as we can see earlier, if I set this to invisible, we actually have this animation going on uh, 25 frames per second and we can set a, uh, we can set the duration as well here so um, one is a bit too slow I'm gonna change this to 0 0.08 seconds so it will flip faster I'm gonna have that question box switch on back and under two options and we have two options here we have progress and loop and because I want it to um, f animate randomly, so I'm going to drag this out. And in the next patch, I'm going to look for random. And I bring it closer. Random, right? So um, here I have um, a random being selected here. I have a start range and an end range. Now because I have seven sets of different answers, so my end range, I'm going to change it to seven. So depending on how many answers you actually have, if you have 13 answers, then you will change this accordingly to 13. I have seven, so I'm going to change this to seven. A few more patches now. I'm going to click on the value here, uh, drag it out. And this time I'm going to look for floor. right all this will be moved automatically and under floor here um, i'm going to attach this to my animation sequence so i'm going to go over to my animation sequence here and i'm just going to look for current frame so current frame here yellow patch i'm going to bring it to the end i'm just going to link the floor to the animation sequence so this is the set of patches that we actually need um, for this filter so i'm gonna just rearrange that so that we can actually see better
So now I have this animation set up and I have all these patches done here. So let's go over to the scene panel and drag the camera to the patch editor. Camera functions here, I have four options. I have front camera, back camera, photo capture and video recording. So for this particular animation, it has to be in a video format. So I'm going to click on video recording. I'm going to click and drag out and I'm going to look for not. I'm going to explain this in a while. So I'm going to add a not patch and I'm going to go to answer plane and under visible here, I'm going to click on the arrow right and it was actually turned into yellow i'm going to click on that so i'm going to link this up so what it means is that when the user starts to record a video it will not play the question info because it's the first thing that they're going to see when they use this filter the question graphics so when the user starts to tap on the screen or press the record button it will actually not show the question info so that's what this basically means here I'm going to go to the answer plane and similarly I'm going to click on visible and this time the visible I'm going to link it to the video recording. So when the user start to press the record, it will not play the question info, rather it will actually play the answer animation sequence that we have here at the, at the top. Okay, so we have everything ready. Um, the last thing that we need to adjust is the equals. So what this is as uh, the second number, let's change this to number two, right? That represents second. So here it's going to flip uh, at random and um, we're going to actually have the animation set um, for about five seconds. So I'm going to change this to five. Okay, so this determines how long you want the animation to go on before it stops at a random answer. Okay, so just to check our work here, um, everything is good. Everything seems fine. So let's test this on the device. Let's send this to Instagram and check our work. All right, so the filter works. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, creating this filter with me. Apparently, I'm pining over my eggs this Valentine's Day. So be sure to download these graphics in the description box below. And if you enjoy the tutorial, uh, do like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next tutorial video.